What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lou back in again with my team video. Today's my team video is on another episode of No Money Spent, episode 81. And as you guys see right there, I literally just got done with a couple challenges because I haven't really been uh, on 2K the whole day or nothing like that. Um, but literally, I played a couple challenges. Got, I think I probably got Chris Anderson's um, challenge done. Um, I know I got Eric Bledsoe's and I know I got Tim uh, Legler's uh, spotlight done. As you guys see right there, that's literally what I just did. Um, you guys probably didn't want to see the spotlight because it's probably the same thing for everybody else. Let me lower this a little bit because I don't want this to be extremely loud. And there we go. There we go. So then we got to do Tyrone's. Tyrone Hills. And we got to win the game and record eight rebounds with him. So I'll do that without you guys seeing that because that's going to be an annoying game. And I'll do a couple other challenges with it in that game. So we still got to do that because we do got to get the, the level 40 so we can get the Hall of Fame option back on top of it. But, and we got to do the Robert Reed. As I don't understand why there's no game sound. Give me a second. All right, that should have fixed it. it sh we should have game sound. Yup, we do, we do, we do. We, we, that should have fixed it. But we did get finished with those challenges. And now we're literally going to get our second to last shot at Maurice Lucas. The Galaxy Open from the Central Board this season. And she did see, as you guys see right there, that wasn't even English. But... You see that we cleared out most of the board, man. So we're literally closing in on getting him. Hopefully we do get him. We get uh extra pack right there, which is lit. Um We got we got seven picks left. He might be somewhere. I feel I still feel like he's in the middle somewhere, man. But then again, he like he hasn't been in the middle in a while, so I'm just gonna start picking randomly, to be honest. Um Where should I go, man? I literally haven't picked any spot over here. That's why. Um, dude, come on, just give me the damn card. How am I picking everything but it as we get a 10 season deluxe award pack and our pick back, which is W? And that tells me that there's probably nothing near him. So I'm gonna guess it's up here, to be honest. I don't think they would put a grand prize and a player right next to it, you know what I mean? We got one more pick, or maybe they will. And we didn't get it, man. Next, we're going to have 12 picks left. And we got probably, like, 20 spots left. So, hopefully, we get at level 36, man, when we get there. But, unfortunately, we didn't get it. But we did get a T of the Season pack, which will open right now. We did get a base heat, uh, heat check pack and all that stuff. I'm going to look up. Where's this locker code as I'm opening these right now? I'm a little bit underprepared right now. I usually have a screenshot and, and things like that of that sort. But... I mean, we're opening packs anyway, so it really doesn't matter. We did get that Hall of Fame Clutch Shooter last uh, last episode, so we didn't even open that. But I found the locker code right here. It's here a shot at one of the new packs that came out yesterday. We're going to leave that pack for last. We're going to see what Amethyst we get out of this. Because if um, I don't think you can get... I think it's just random uh, Series 1 players. I wish he was this like these Amethyst packs and Diamond packs were just like random players from all the promos and stuff like that. Just to like make it more... like Make it better... Get more hype around these like uh, cards and, and and ascension and stuff like that, because uh, we let's keep it real. We're not gonna use these cards. We're not. They're just free empty. Let's see if we get something out of this. Still see the deluxe pack. I forgot. I think it was Galaxy Opal Curry, Galaxy Opal LeBron, and a couple other cards. But I mean, we're not gonna get shit. I, I wouldn't be surprised. We get Mo Bamba, and that's one of the cards we already have. So we're just gonna quick sell that. We do got 180k right now. I do want to buy a Kevin Durant, but we have nowhere near the amount of money we need, man. How much is Kevin Durant right now? Because I want to buy Kevin Durant just so I can literally... Um, what promo is he? Is he iced out? Oh, no, no, no. He's 75th. But as I was saying, I literally just want a Kevin Durant so I can badge him out, man. Literally, just to badge him out. Like, this one's probably going to sell for like 2 mil. I see, I'm, I'm keeping a buck 50 with you guys. This one's going to sell for 20 mil. And, well, depending on the badges, actually. Let me see what all the fame badges they put on them. We got Intimidator, Chef, like, Clutch Shooter. It doesn't matter. Um, they put Hall of Fame Menace on them. So, I mean, the card is sick. Or we can try to get a LeBron or some uh, somebody like that. Which LeBron seems like he's more, like, um, achievable. Which we might just pick a LeBron. And just badge him out. Because this one has Hall of Fame clamps. Does he usually come with Hall of Fame clamps? He does come with Hall of Fame clamps. 
We do got a lot of badges. Like, if you put Limitless Range on him, I don't think he has Limitless Range Hall of Fame. I believe you can put a Hall of Fame on this card, though. Let me see. Well, they probably didn't allow that because it is LeBron at the end of the day. Oh, you can't put Limitless Range Hall of Fame. And I, I believe I do got a Hall of Fame Limitless Range. So I'm probably going to pick up LeBron. I'm going to see if I can make him, um enough MT this episode to literally just badge him out and keep him on our team, to be honest. Because we've been looking for a new small forward and LeBron's like that guy. That just plays defense and he like occasionally shoots a three. But I let's put in that locker court that I was talking about right there. And it's literally right there. It's literally a hut for glory. It should be up on your screen right now as I'm saying this. Um, and I I, I want to take this time and literally tell you guys to subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. And we're trying to reach that by the end of January. And you guys have been showing crazy support on the no money spent. Which I really do appreciate more than I can even express to be honest with you guys. As I say to be honest a lot. I, one of these days, I'm just going to see in my comment section is just a, to be honest, counter, man. It's going to be, I, I'm not going to be uh, surprised at all. I was about to say it right there again, but there's Locker Code. It is for a shot at the new Hunt for Glory pack, a Diamond Boost um, pack, and a Hunt for Glory. There's only one, what? Uh, what are the odds on that? Why did they switch it up and there's only one shot at the pack? That is so stingy. That, re that really is stingy. But we do get a diamond uh, shoe boost back. Or slashing diamonds, a diamond. So it's probably going to be like a plus four uh, three-point shoe. Oh, there, uh, there's two boosts. Not bad, not bad for a diamond boost at all. Uh, let's see what challenge we can do. We're probably going to play clutch on this episode. Um, we do got to do a couple of these uh, challenges. I do want to make enough MT to get a LeBron James. So I might just try to sell a whole bunch of stuff. And do some of these challenges because we do get what we get 30 tokens. I mean, there's nothing else in the auction house that I really want. I mean, pink diamond market. We can get Doug West, but Doug West doesn't seem that good. If I remember, he does have an 84 shot three with a 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle. His defense looks all right, but he doesn't look like a good card. I'm gonna be honest. Is there any diamonds? I don't remember if they added any diamonds. They added Rudy Gobert, but we already got his other card. And the dime and the amethyst, I doubt there's anything good in the amethyst. Yeah, they say it's like Norm Nick Nixon, bro. Like, ain't nobody worried about that. We're gonna try to open one of these mystic packs. They're still in here, right? We're gonna see if we can get like a Giannis or something like that. Just 15 tokens. I mean, we made that pretty quick, and we like it doesn't matter. We got a shot at a galaxy opal, man. Well, it's actually a pink diamond, right? I wonder if they show you the odds. They don't show you the odds anymore, do they? Nah, they don't show you the odds. They're pretty bad. I mean, I did uh, get uh, Andre Kerr and Linko out of the last packs over there. Um, we could try to get some badge, um, badges, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, but let, let's get on to the uh, clutch time game because we're still trying to reach our goal, Pascal Siakam. And we can get like some of these challenges done with Chris Anderson and all that stuff. Um, I did play one clutch time game today. I did lose it. Um, so we can't lose two games in a row just because then we get reset. But, I mean, either way, we're already at the, we still haven't won one game in this tier. As we're facing Trey Young, James Harden, Bay, Serge Ibaka, and Clint Capella. I'm literally all playing like Clint Capella the whole time. I, I just love clutch time, man. If you guys don't mind it, I'll literally keep playing clutch time every single no money spent. Even if it is like one game and, and stuff like that. But I, I love playing clutch time. It's literally my favorite game mode in 2K. Honestly, probably history. Except for Supermax, because I love Supermax. I know a lot of people hated Supermax, but I like Supermax a lot. We're already here. Nope. We just got to worry about Trey Young. That's all we really got to worry about because I can tell right now that he just wants to he just wants to dribble his ass off with him. Like, nah, that ain't going to happen, bro. Too far up. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Where are they going? Sir trying to, like, uh, get uh, get ahead of the, uh, the curve and stuff like that, but it just didn't help him. Jalen Brown's there. I'm not worried about it. We're already here. I'm trying to get there with Serge. He's trying to score with Trey Young. I think he's trying to get the, the challenges done for um DeMar DeRozan, which that reminds me, we do got to get uh, DeMar DeRozan still on the squad. So I still got to do that, but I, I'm like more focused on getting Pascal Siakam. I'll get him after. We're already here. That should have been a good shot, but he did it. He just hesitated. He hesitated way too much. He's trying to get a four-point shot. I mean, he can dribble a little bit, but I mean, homie, that ain't going to work. You can have that all day of the week. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nah. I, I can tell you want to give it a Trey. Trey's on lock, bro. You better give it up. Trey's on lock, homie. Trey's on lock. He is not scoring a bucket. I can promise you that. 
I'll make sure that he doesn't touch the ball. Fuck it in the corner. Or not. It's just a paint. Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me? I know he's trying to get his challenge done. So if he does um, not even score in a little bit, then I'm just going to skip it to the end because it's going to be boring. It's going to be me just destroying the kid. Like, look at this, man. Chris Anderson is such a beast at defense. He might quit the game. Um, he is a little bit annoyed, I can tell already, because he's already reached with Clint Capella. I've seen so many people start to get uh, Pascal Siakam already. And it's kind of insane. Dude, this Kyrie Irving is just disgusting. He really is. We're already back with Chris Anderson. He's not going to... Nope. You're not getting an open shot. I'll block it before I let you. Nope. I know you want to give it to him. No. We're there. I, I'm not going to lie. I said we're there, but I knew I wasn't there at all. We're already gone. You messed up. That's a bucket. That's a baby. They're baby down low, man. They got to guard me. I literally had a piece of hair literally just coming out of my head. I don't know what the hell that was. Easy charge right here. Nope. You can have it. You can have it. We're doubling now. We're doubling. Ain't no more scoring for you. Now that I know that you want to do it, homie, you're not getting a three-pointer. You're not getting a three-pointer at all. Let me know how many of you guys already uh, watching the video have uh, DeMar DeRozan and Pascal Siakam. I have, I, I don't got either, but then again, I haven't been like going crazy for DeMar DeRozan because a lot of those challenges are a little bit annoying because you do got to get triple doubles. But I might do them while I'm doing like full games of, um, of the spotlight challenges like the Tory, uh, Tory um, not Tory, Tyrone Hill. I was thinking of uh, literally uh, Tory Lanes for some reason. That's a block, man. Bay is such an underrated card. Okay, I got 0.3 seconds to score. I should be able to get this bucket. As long as he doesn't do some crazy stuff. <laughs> I know he's upset. That's a steal. Charge. Charge. He's coming back to me. Don't worry about it. No, you better give it up. You better give it up. I'm doubling. You better give it up. I'm not, I'm not getting away from Trey. You can have the two. You can have the two. I'm not getting away from Trey. It's not happening. Nope. Clamps. Clamps, another block, and with our hopes is our challenge. We, we should be closing in our goal of our challenge. It was, a, I think you have to get 15 blocks, to Chris Anderson. Um, we, I think we were like four away, and we already got like three blocks this game. He's gonna reach. That should be a four-point shot, half court, baby. You gotta guard him. It doesn't matter if he has Hall of Fame limitless range or not. Like, I'm just gonna skip it until the end of the game, just because this guy is just gonna be doing this the whole game. We did beat the kid. He literally, I let him score like two three pointers, or I, I let him hit one, I think, or a two pointer or something like that. Yeah, he literally went two for 17. I know that was a little bit annoying and toxic, but people do it to me, and I'm, a, I'm literally going to continue to literally return the favor, man. If you can't do it, don't try to get all the points in one game. That's why I don't try to, like, when I ever do, like, challenges like that, I don't try to get them all done in one game. Unless I know the kid's a bot or something like that. As we don't get Reggie Lewis right here, again, because I'm not surprised by it at all. Um, and yeah, we're only nine away, uh, wins away from that. Let me see if we did get Chris Anderson's challenge done. Where is he? What challenge would it be? He, he's one of the new cards, right? Hunting for glory. Oh, for, so, so we did get his challenge done. Um, we got to get Toppin's dunking done, which we'll do that in triple their offline, but not right now. We got to get a lot of blocks done. Originally owned point guards. We got to do that, too. Um... Is there any challenges that we can do for the DeMar? Let me see. Let me see. Like, online, like, scoring-wise. We got to use Clint Capella. We got to have three more rebounds. Do I have... Do I have Trey Young? If I have Trey Young, we'll literally use Trey Young in clutch time right now. Which I don't remember if I picked him up already. I think I picked up Kemba instead of him. Yeah. So, we don't have him. Um, do we have anybody else? Let me see. Got Kelly Obrey. Um, we do gotta get Jalen Brown's challenge done. Um, we gotta focus on the diamonds just so we can get it done. Okay, Trey Young's the last one, and we gotta get one triple double with 17 points in a moment. Of uh, rewards uh, Josh Gidley, as I literally can't even speak. So I'm gonna do that real quick and literally get Trey Young so we can use him in clutch time. So we got the level 20 Tyrone Hill challenge done, and be, uh, like before I even got to do the Josh Giddy challenge and all that stuff like that, his triple double, which we did get done, we had to play a triple threat offline game because we needed to get Josh Giddy, and we did get him. So now we get the diamond, uh, the last diamond. I think this is the last diamond, and um, then we get we get Kemba right after him, right after Mitchell Robinson. So we'll definitely get Demar Derozan next episode. Um, 
Because we still can't get, um, what the heck is his name yet this episode, I don't think. Unless we do this challenge, but I kind of want to save for next episode. For tomorrow's episode, uh, because this is going to be a little bit annoying and it's going to get, like, tedious and I'm going to get mad. And I don't, I don't feel like getting mad. We still got to get this, uh, get score 34 points with, uh, 34 points and get 14 rebounds of moments. Uh, Delino, whatever the hell his name is, in a single game, we gotta get that done. And, uh, the five blocks, these are gonna be annoying. We still gotta get Jalen Brown, so I'm gonna try to get all these done, except Trey Young, just because Trey Young's, I'm gonna play clutch time, and uh, I wanna use him in the video and stuff like that. And then, Trey, after we finish the Trey Young challenge, we're literally gonna be done, and we're gonna have a Galaxy Opal, DeMar DeRozan, put off the bench or start, depending on if, if we do get... LeBron James at the uh, small. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of No Money Spent. Episode number 80. Turn your post notifications on. Subscribe to the channel. If you are new, we upload basically every single day. My team content. Some days more than others. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Lou. And we out. Stay. Peace.